welcome back my youtube channel sales for hunt this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to work on the interaction part in the sales force so with the flow and uh, in the flow we have the separate section that is called interaction under this interaction we have train sub flow and the action so i will show you these kind of things under this video so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end so let get started without any further delay so i just logged in into my org now under the quick find you have to search flows just click on this flows and here you can create a new flow as you want so let me click on the new and here you can see screen flow record trigger flow schedule platform and auto launch flow so we will see one by one these are kind of things first of all let me complete this screen flow series okay so just click on this screen flow and under the screen flow we have this plus icon means you can add the element anywhere as you want in in this canvas so this is the canvas area just click on this plus icon now you can see this interactions so i will complete this interaction in this video that is called screen action and subflow so please stay with me and now you can see screen action and flow so let's get started with the practical so let me choose the first element that is called screen and let me add the screen name as a, as a screen 1 and let me add some display text under here let's say screen 1 screen 1 we already added the screen 1 that's why you can see message 1 here now you can make it api name as unique always that's why right message 1 so this is first screen first screen something like that click on this done this is the first screen let me add another screen and under this screen let's say screen 2 and let me add the display text under here and this is the message 2 something like that let me add this is screen 2 something like that right so we have two screen screen 1 and screen 2 let me explain the each and every element under here so this screen divided into three parts always remember this is the header and this is the content area you can put the component from left side to uh, this middle side and after that you can see the footer if you hide this uh, that is called header you can hide it once you click on this one you can hide it like this also you can add the help text in the top so once you type something here or let's say this is a screen something like that so you will be see i icon here right so based on your requirement you can add it otherwise leave it as it is so same thing you can apply for footer as well so under the footer section just come down you can see the so footer right now is by default is a checked if you don't need this thing so just uncheck it now footer is gone so you can toggle it based on your need also you can configure this kind of uh, buttons let's say previous finish and something like that so here you can see the next or finish button let me add the custom let's say and button something like that and so now you can see the and previous uh, previous button you can also add the custom label go back something like that like go back also you can change the pause button let's say pause button under the pause button let's say hold on something like that so you can change each and every button levels here and also you can send the custom message as well based on your need so here you can see the screen this kind of things right so if you need some inputs so you can see user interactions all the things so just drag and drop and you can use it so this is all components so now here this is the screen let me close it let me save this flow and this flow let's say interaction section something like that and just save it and once you save it now let me debug this flow and once you debug it you can see two screen 
right this is the first screen let me click on the next this is the second screen why because here also you can see in the debug mode uh, debug details this is the interview of the flows so now you can see screen one message one now you can see this is the first screen once you clicked on the next now you can see the second screen once you finish it you will be see second screen here that is called display text here and all this is right so you can debug your flow as well so this is all about like screen interaction let me add another things for you that is called here we have actions and sub subflow so let me explain this action first of all so action basically use for the like uh, some external services if you have like rest api or any email alert or any email template you have or you can perform any apex code under the flow using at the rate invocable method so there are so many things under here but let me explain the new action here with the help of email alert so just come down now you can see another thing that is called here email just click on this email and now you can see send email is it by default provided by the salesforce so you have to choose it and give the name let's say send mail something like that so here you can see the body you can create the body based on your requirement so i recommended you you can always create the body with the help of text template okay for now in this session i am not using text template so you can use like demo so let's say hi i hope you are good you are good and doing well something like that right subject let's say demo flow something like that and here it's asking like recipient collection mail and it's a comma separate if you want to add some mail here let's say rohit at the rate yopmail.com something like that so this is the dummy mail here you can add your collection emails or single emails as you want otherwise leave it as it is all the things let let it be right now just click on this done now you can see the send mail right so let me save this flow once you save it again you have to click on this debug button and now just click on the run click on the next next and you will be get an email about your email id so let me open the yopmail.com and this is a free website you can check your mail let's say rohit and click on this next and definitely you can see here that is called demo flow and uh, this is the body hi i hope you are good and doing well this is the body so based on your requirement you can choose that like this so let me close it this is the action now come to the last interaction section so under here once you click on this plus now you can see another option under the interaction section that is called subflow so how to call this subflow let me go back here let me create a flow new fresh flow so one here this is a screen flow and let me add the screen that is called screen one for example under this screen i need to add some display text under this display text let's say this one message one under here let's say sub flow call something like that right so just select it let me add some styling for this one center it should be bold or some color as a red so you can see the subflow called done it and save it and make it the flow name as a sub flow demo anything as you have click on the save and activate it without activation you cannot see this subflow under the another flow so always activate this flow and you can use this flow as a subflow under my recently created interaction section this is the new flow we already created so after that you have to use this subflow under here so how to use that let me show you or you can use after this screen anywhere as you want so you can use that so just click on this subflow and it's asking the subflow name so my subflow name is here just subflow demo this is a subflow demo and give the name let's say subflow and if you have some description so you can put it and also you can open this 
subflow as a separate window so I don't want to open this subflow into the separate window leave it as it is for now click on this done now you can see after screen 2 you will be see the subflow called and after that you will be get an uh, email in that particular ID so let me save it and uh, just debug it click on this run this first screen is executed here this is the second screen once you click on this next button the subflow uh, will be automatically called so just click on the next now you can see subflow called right after that you will be get an uh, email that particular email ID we already set up so once you click on the next that uh, email will be fired and you will be get an uh, email as a dummy text as we already set up so just click on the next now you will get an uh, email let me show you that email here so here just open this one click on this one now you can see again this mail this is the previous one this is the new one you can see so this is how we can work on the interaction elements under the salesforce flows so if you like this video guys and if you get some knowledge i hope you learn something new in this video so please subscribe my youtube channel please like share and comments for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya